Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Hello everybody, welcome to Technical Analysis of the Forex Market from the Forex.com. Today the 15th of July and I'll continue to talk about the euro cards. Well, on the daily time frame you don't see uh, really much in you. Uh, I just want to remind you that our next expectation target is uh, 137 area because this is the target of this ABCD pattern. Great ABCD. Okay. And 127 extension of that potential better Y Y pattern. So in that area we could be prepared for some reversal to the upside because you can see that CD leg of this ABCD pattern is much flatter than AB and usually this leads to the reversal points in the uh, 100 percent extension target. Well also as you remember this is the day uh, sorry weekly confidence support area. So this rather strong area of support and the market at least should bounce from it for the first time. And uh, you can imagine what expect uh, and bouncing on the weekly time frame. This could be significant move to the upside. Well, but mm, in the short term perspective, uh, we said that market is a result of the target of this recent ABCD pattern and then we need some pullback. This has happened, market has hit, almost has hit, 6 month resistance from this high to that low and now we're established going down. You can see that uh, our uh, sorry, daily trend is being recovered. So, uh, current environment, the current move in the market, absolutely uh, suitable for the total bearish uh, scenario of the market. The trend is bearish, market just respect. Uh, with respect to this result, reaching the hard essential, 6 one resistance and now it's ready to acceleration to the downside. From On the daily time frame this looks perfect. But on the 4 hour chart uh, I have some thing that worry me a bit. Take a look at this 4 hour chart Yesterday we have discussed the uh, reaching of this potential 1618 target from the ABC pattern. Okay, that is also an agreement with the 618 resistance. But market has hit it, and now shows gradual move to the downside. And the thing that uh, makes me nervous a bit about the bearish environment is the nature of this move to the downside. This is look. Uh, this looks like more retracement rather than acceleration. And one of the uh, one of the scenario that could happen is the Gartley triple to buy pattern. You can see initial thrust, A, B, C, D retracement. You can see that 100% ext extension target creates almost an agreement with the 618 support. So 13980, 144 is an area of support. If that will happen, if market will show Gartley's triple two, then uh, we could count on the taking out of these highs because 618 target stands just above. And you know that I very often tell that uh, I am not very comfortable with the entry on the short side of the market if market has not hit the target that stands just above it. It's very often market returns back and hitting and then all, all, only after that acceleration to, acceleration to the downside. This is one of the uh, scenarios that tend to deceive the public. This sometimes happens but uh, I do not want to say that it has to happen but probably it could. So if you will see some reversal in the area around 140, some acceleration swing of the momentum, shifting the momentum to the upside, some frosting bars from the back, well, be prepared for the acceleration right to 140 to 70, it's right here. This really could happen, because the nature of that move is not very uh, typical for the shifting of momentum and continuation of the downside. If from the other point of view you will see the nasty bars to the downside, the candles that open the high schools and the low, something like that. To the right to this area, then probably market will break it and uh, accelerate further to the downside. It's currently difficult to say, but anyway, if you have now short position according to our yesterday's trading plan, you can keep it, I think, till the 140 area at least to that area. Then keep it close eye to that area, how market will respond to this, uh, to touching this area. If market will show some frost candles to the upside, then probably it's better to close position and wait for, uh, for the development. Or move your stop to break even tight your stops and just watch the move how market will behave in that area. So that scenario is uh, a bit 
dangerous for the Beerus bias. So it could be really Mertens triple two. I just want to worry, uh, warn you about this potential scenario. But uh, uh, now it's very difficult to say will it uh, appear or not. But it could in reality. On the audio chart, we see the nature of this move in more details. It's really some kind of trace move, so something like that. Okay, consider two step up, one step back, two step forward, one step back. So this is really impulse move to the outside. So acceleration. This move. Is not. This could be just a response in the area of resistance, retracement, A, B, C, D, retracement. So keep an eye on one, one for the area. Be careful if you have a shot position, keep an eye on that area. If you want to enter along, if you're bullish bias, wait for that area. Then probably, if this would be the card is triple two, this would be an excellent opportunity to enter the long side of the market. Okay? But in general, if we exclude this, our uh, worry sign. This nature of this retracement, we have the strong bearish bias because uh, our trend is bearish for our trend is, tr is trying to shift in bearish, okay? And the daily trend is bearish, so we have the bearish scenario. We do not have any direction of bullish patterns in uh, some bullish patterns. Here is also absolutely logical price action due to respect, uh, respect of the result and uh, reaching the 600 resistance, turning to the downside. In the daily time frame, this looks absolutely bearish. So, still, I think that. The bearish bias is still hold and it's, uh, dominate, uh, but this is really some dangerous environment. This could lead to the cartilage treatment. So be careful, keep an eye on the 140 area and take your risk reasonable. Don't risk much.